Hey y'all, Eric here. The leaves are falling in North Carolina. That means it's time to break out the billy goat. First, I've got to change the oil. So let's head to the garage and get to it. Here she is, the billy goat. Love this thing, about it used last year and didn't realize how much I was actually gonna love this thing because it is sort of a unitasker that really does just suck leaves up. Um, it's a lawn vacuum, but the amount of hours it saved me from cleaning up leaves, um, definitely, definitely worth the investment, um, especially buying it used. So this is a Honda motor. It comes with a Briggs and Stratton or a Honda. I was looking for one with a Honda. It just so happens that I found one in South Carolina, um, right across the border from North Carolina. A gentleman was selling one, picked it up, great deal, and uh, I love it. So let's get to changing the oil here. Um, what you're going to need is rolled paper towels, shop towels, nitrile gloves. I've got a hand pump there and then an oil pan. Super simple. Let's get to it. The airplanes were totally drowning out the audio, so... What I am doing here is figuring out which side actually sucks the oil out and which side discharges. You can tell by one side will actually suck on your thumb, the other will blow on your thumb. Stick the sucking side into the engine and begin pumping. Now I did start this up and uh, warmed the oil up for like five minutes, but I didn't want to bore you with that detail, but definitely want to let you know it's going to allow the flow of the oil to come out a lot more smoothly. And then just put your outside and your oil pan, start pumping. Well, hot tip, stick your tube down into the, one of these holes uh, so you don't get a little bit of spray. I've got a couple dots on the driveway there, but it'll just join the others. Adjust it to see if there's any more in there. We probably won't get every single drop of oil, but honestly, these motors are pretty tough. So, just want to get some new stuff in there. Once you feel that you've gotten all that you can, take it out. And let's fill. I use a 10W30. I love gastro oil. Um, use it in all of my vehicles. Uh, so let's add a little bit of this. We're gonna stick our funnel into the fill hole there and fill until we get to our desired fill level. The only way to know that is to add a little bit at a time. I don't know exactly how much this motor takes. This is my first time doing the oil. So I'll pour a little bit at a time, check my dipstick. And then stop once it's at the right level. Looks like we are full. So let's put the cat back in, start her up. that's all there is to it. Had to come back inside. The uh, plane noise was a little much. Uh, that's the first time I've changed the oil on the Billy Goat. Uh, it's a great machine. I'll be recording some videos of me um, sucking up leaves over the next week or two and get that out. Uh, that is not the only way to change the oil from what I read online, but I couldn't find anything specifically. So I just decided to pump it out. I'll link the hand pump that I bought uh, in the description below. And please leave a comment, subscribe, and hit that like button. Really appreciate everyone that subscribed uh, recently and who has been subscribed to the channel. Really helps a lot. And enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks so much.